largest. You, are you talking about my ice cream or yes. about the price of cocoa or both of them? Are you still eating ice cream? Oh, no, totally. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Wolfgang away from My ice coffee cream. ice cream. I just mm. told him, throw out the hagen dust. This is there the real go. stuff. It is the real stuff. And this pressure cooker is the real deal. It is the largest. It is the biggest. It's the best-selling pressure cooker in Wolfgang Puck's history here at HSN. If you want dinner in 10 minutes, no problem. With over 17... 100 rave reviews. We have a customer pick. It's a fan favorite and it has a amazing capacity. We're talking about eight quarts here. All you do is pick your color. We have the red, we have the blue, and we have the black. The black will be the first to go. We're giving you all the essentials you need. You're getting the ladle, you're getting the rack, you're getting the measuring cup, the drip cup. You're also getting the instructions. There's quite a few recipes included, about 36 recipes included to get you started. But if you really want to lock that. in the flavor, you want to lock in the nutrients, and you want to get the taste of the foods that you yep. love with all the moisture without drying out your, your favorite recipes, then the pressure cooker is the way to go. Today we've got a great price break for you. It's $30 off. This is like getting that slow cooked flavor in like exactly, half the time, right? Exactly, because I love the pressure in there infuses <laughs> the food with flavor. So if you put garlic, rosemary, wine, you know, you make like the beef stew with red wine or the chicken mm. with red wine, garlic, rosemary, a little thyme in here and some vegetables, all the flavor stays in here. It doesn't go up into your living room or into your closet, right in here. So you have food with great flavor and you know, my grandmother had one pressure cooker, but she had to turn the oven on. We had a wood-burning oven, mm -hmm. so she had to do that, and she still used it because it was fast, and that was probably in around 1960 or so, early 60s. And now, with the electric one, if she would be still with us, she probably would kiss me every day and say, thank you, I don't have to turn on the oven. It took two hours to turn on the oven, get it really hot. Right, you just plug it in, right? Yeah, you plug it in, turn it on, and come back, and it stops by itself. Now here, we made some shrimp with rice, like a paella-style sure. rice, and you see how easy it is. Look at that. And the great thing about a, the pressure cooker, you can yeah. put in all the ingredients you all at once, right? You throw everything in here, put rice, mm. sausages, whatever you like, just together, and then mm -hmm. you have the most amazing flavorful rice you will ever get. You don't even need really much in here. It is just perfect. Now look at that. It's a non-stick pan, mm -hmm. so you can cook for two, but why cook for two if you can cook and put it in the freezer, bring it right. to the office, whatever. You so it's so simple, so week. easy. And look at the rice. Everything is perfectly separated. Nothing sticks together. Mm -hmm. It's light. So if you want to make mm, any kind of nice. rice dishes, and our most asked dish is the Reisfleisch, which means in German rice and meat. Okay, how about that? Now, uh, if you don't have meat, you use sausages. It's a fine too. Oh, it looks amazing. What do you love about pressure cooking? What? I love about pressure cooking is it goes faster, but mainly mm -hmm. it's all about the flavor. And I love you can dump everything together in here. Now look at that. I have the vegetables here. You add whatever you like, a little butter if you want to hear Marianne, thank you. you. Sorry. And then all you have to remember is the same amount of liquid than rice or pasta. So you put that in here. Okay, equal Then amounts. you decide what flavor. You want garlic, ginger, Chinese flavor, or whatever. Indian flavor, a little paprika. If you like it spicy, a little chili flakes, and that's it. And then you can put in <laughs> Frozen Absolutely. meat. You find it in the back meat. of your freezer. <laughs> now you know what to do with it. Let's say hi to Raquetta from Maryland. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Raquetta. Oh my Just God, why did you. you hang up? Call back, Rosetta. Uh, she she ordered the dessert maker. Uh, okay. And now she, she wants the pressure cooker. Okay, so now look at that. You stir it all together just like that. Yeah. I put salt already oh, and pepper thank too. You. And then we need the cover. <laughs> and I can show you how easy that is to operate. So now you put the cover on here. Perfect. You see here the, the mm -hmm. dot and the dot, they mix together here or stay together. And then you turn it from open to close. 
put the valve on seal, and now you can go to the hairdresser, you can watch your TV show, play with the children, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And it's super easy, by the way. There's, yeah. there's no confusing dials. You don't have and to. And you know, so I have to turn it yeah, on for sure. So <laughs> now it's, it's Show warm. Us the dial. So you put it on eight minutes under pressure. Okay. So this guy knows when it's under pressure and it starts to count down from that time on. Once you uh, build the pressure yeah. inside. Yeah, so it depends how much you put in here, how mm -hmm. long it takes to go under pressure, uh, so it's really simple. And we also have a great cookbook, by the way, if you just want some great ideas, some inspiration to get you started. Uh, Marion Getz is in the house. Marion, who writes all the recipes with Hi, Wolfgang. Marianne. She's an executive pastry chef with Wolfgang Puck for nearly 20 years. Uh, this is a great recipe book, Marion. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, one thing is it has a photo for every single recipe, because I know you don't make them if they don't. I know no, I don't, but simple, easy ingredients. Most yep. of the recipes I learned from Wolfgang Puck, and they're really popular ones. We try to always make sure that the top 20 foods that are made in America are in every book in some form. If so these can. are really recipes mm -hmm. we're gonna love. Yeah, gonna make, and easy uh, to do, week. and you know, whereas chefs always make a recipe complicated, mm -hmm. a lot of steps. Mm -hmm. Marianne cooks at home every day. She knows she wanna keep it simple. So now, instead of having 46 ingredients, you have six <laughs> yeah. ingredients. So Thank it's you. really Thank you for doing that. Making what our I love, simple. look at that. Here is a pasta dish. Um, Pasta okay, bolognese, smells. all in Amazing. one thing. You don't have to make this sauce. You don't have, you don't to, have to do anything. Just Pasta put it like that. In a separate pan, and then there's only oh, one pan. One. There's one pan that you put in, and one pan to clean up. It's thirty dollars off today. Yeah. It's the last day of the visit. The black, the red, the blue are all available. Uh, however, if you do want the black, we're going to say last call. So yeah. uh, fewer than a hundred now, now to go around in the black. Look how what we do. Again, we went to the freezer. How <laughs> often did you come? home and said what I gonna cook what for my gonna... family what mm -hmm. do I gonna do you look in the freezer I know if I want to cook a hamburger by the time I defrost it and cook it it right. takes forever I hate when I put meat in the in the oh, defroster the in the microwave oh. so here <laughs> throw it in here and then we put pot thai pasta mm -hmm. and what did I say before the same amount of liquid as pasta Okay, let's rinse them well off. All right, we have that. And then put a little rosemary if you like, some veggies like a marinara sauce. Even if you want, you can add a touch of cream, make it really delicious. Mm, a little garlic. Amazing. And a little chili flakes. At home, I don't put chili flakes because my kids don't like spicy, yeah. you know? Yeah. So now we mix it up a little bit. And, and you can see there are still the hockey pucks in here. <laughs> Not the Wolfgang pucks, the hockey pucks. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put the cover on. Okay. All right, just like that. You look at here. Okay, and then up, oh, we have to put oh. the, the, the sealer in here it? perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make it, Mike makes it so that you so can the, take I, it out. The, to the, clean the it. sealer, you can take it out and mm -hmm. clean it. You know, after a while, you see it here, it has to be cleaned because with all the pressure yeah, and everything. Sure. So it's easy. And then we put it back on. Did it come out again? Oh, I have it the wrong way, maybe? No. Nope. Where nope. is this thing? Here. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, go. good. <laughs> see, I don't have my glasses on, <laughs> I can't see. Again, here you have the point, and then you just turn it on. And then put it on eight minutes under pressure, put it on seal, and you go whatever really? you have to You're do. You're doing frozen hockey pucks yeah. in eight minutes. Eight minutes to bolognese? Eight minutes under pressure and you're done. Amazing. Okay, very quickly, if you do want to make sure that you're getting in on this, uh, place your order online or give us a call. Uh, here are all the great features. So uh, again, you're getting that non-stick pot, so that's super easy to clean. There's even measurements inside the pot for rice cooking or pasta cooking, or if you just want to measure how many quarts of water or chicken stock you're putting in. There's a 90-minute automatic timer. That's the only button. So it's so easy. There's no digital dials to worry about. You don't have to pick what food you're doing or, or wonder how long yeah. it's going to take. It's all in the guidebook. And the pressure cooker works by 
what, circulating the air? Is that no, what no, it's putting the meat it under pressure. You okay. know, like they pressurize an airplane, for example, mm -hmm. because the air pressure up there is not as high. In here, you have enough pressure in here that you cook everything three times faster because there is no heat escaping, no mm -hmm. liquid escaping, so you have this pressure inside, and then everything cooks it really tenderizes yeah. the fibers of the meat in no time. It infuses the meat or chicken or whatever you put in there with all the flavors. So you get this amazing results. That's mm -hmm. what I love. I know I love the time. I love that I only have one part mm -hmm. to do yeah. everything instead of starting with many. Sure. So it makes it really an easy way to cook with. And you know, I, uh, the first pressure cooker I got was too small. And I will say that's the number one regret <laughs> yeah. I have about my very first pressure cooker. It was too small. Uh, I went through all of that trouble to get the right ingredients and make a really yummy dish, and I never had enough for leftovers. I never I had know. enough to serve the next day or to have for lunch at work on Thursdays and Fridays. I mean, this is the best way. If you are going to try pressure cooking, yeah. go big or go home. You'll never regret buying the larger exactly. size. This is the biggest size. This is the eight quart. So what could you fit in an eight quart? I mean, you, you've got two large pot roasts in there. Yeah, two large mm. pot roasts. So why just cook for uh, one, you know, it mm -hmm. takes the same amount of time to go shopping for right. five pounds of meat or for one pound of meat. It takes the same amount to buy the carrots, the onions. Mm -hmm. So you might as well cook enough, and then all you have to do is cook it in your pressure cooker, and then if you want to bring some to your office, bring some to your friends, take it with you, or just put it in my bowls cool it off and then put it in the freezer or just wow. put it in the refrigerator and three days later, when you want to have a good meal, you still have it without doing anything. And Wolfgang, don't you think that these kinds of foods that we make in the pressure cooker freeze beautifully, so you might as well make a lot, and then yeah, maybe later in go. the week you can defrost it and you don't have to cook that day. Exactly, and <laughs> I hate... the best feeling ever, like, is. I don't have to cook tonight, there's something in the freezer. And I hate the shopping part the most, you know? I agree, I, I agree. hate to find, to find a parking spot to yes. go in and say, I need this, and then you have to go again the next day. Now, in the right. old time, we didn't have refrigerators does at home, you had to go shop very often, but now we have all this amazing things at home. Your mother could see you now, Wolfgang. Yeah. Uh, but you started cooking on a farm, right? I started cooking out in the countryside, yeah. My yeah. parents had Growing their own big Austria. vegetable garden in, in Austria, so we cooked every day. You know, every day they cooked, but we had a small pressure cooker, and my mother, my grandmother, you know, cooked it in there, her rice flesh and soups and stuff like that. So we didn't throw anything mm -hmm. away. You know, when we made chicken, she saved the bones and made chicken stock with it or chicken sure. soup with it. We didn't know any other way, you know? And the old pressure cookers, you had to worry about like the steam or I the know. lid escaping and it used or used to whistle like crazy. I remember my grandmother <laughs> told us to go outside and play football or do something, but don't stay in the kitchen. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about that yeah. with now, this pressure cooker. With this pressure cooker, you it put it under pressure right? and that's it. It's totally electric. Now look at that. Another thing, did, do we still have the potato riser? Yes, we oh, do. I hope so. Okay, good. That's really a must for everybody at home. Now look at that. I cooked the potatoes in here. See that? Okay. So yeah, with this one is great cup if you want of to water. Cook I, it's not that I took them out or took the water out. I just added one cup to make steam. Okay. And the potatoes are steamed with mm -hmm. a little salt. And look at this beautiful potato. And See how that? long did you cook them? We cooked them six minutes under pressure. Isn't that crazy? Six <laughs> minutes for yeah. mashed potatoes. What would that take on the stovetop, Mary? Well, you'd have to wait for it to come to a boil, right? Yeah. Right, just and waiting for I water love to boil. Okay, he, says, he says, what do you do when the potatoes are tender? You go to the sink and you pour almost all the flavor down the drain with yeah. the water. And how often is that the potatoes get totally mm -hmm. overcooked and you see these mashed potatoes which are totally gray. Wow. Why? Because they stayed in the water too long. Now, okay. look at that. It's so easy. Mm. So you're getting all 
smell the flavor. By the way, if you want the potato masher, yeah. that's twenty four dollars and ninety five cents. You can add that to your order. Uh, for if you want really smooth, fluffy potatoes, you could also use that for like your squash, your pumpkin, your yam. Yeah. Even drain like no. your spinach and your cauliflower. And don't forget to add on the cookbook. If you're trying pressure cooking for the first time, I recommend at least one cookbook to get you started. It kind of gives you the feel for it. And then after that, you can kind of just let loose. And yeah. Because you're putting it all in one pot. Whatever flavor you like, you, you can't add really to it. If you want to make up, right? Chinese food or Asian food, or if you want to make Middle Eastern food, it just depends what spices you add. You can make rice Indian style. You can mm -hmm. make rice Italian style, Chinese style, or whatever you like. Now look at that here, making Ooh. mashed potatoes. Now I know the Irish, the Austrians, we all live on mashed potatoes. And I gonna make them a little Irish with a little pesto in here. One and you make the best favorite. mashed potatoes in the world. Yeah, why? Because they are not watery. Mm -hmm. They are not cooked in water. They are basically mm -hmm. steamed under pressure. So the water isn't good for the flavor of the no, potato? it takes out all the flavor. Really? So when they're sitting in water, you're just draining away the flavor? You drain away the flavor, but also the potato's gonna look terrible then mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. I have to take this. I have to follow Marion's advice. Okay, taste a little, put a little right. salt, so, a little yeah. better, and then that's mm. it. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And so smooth because of the smooth ricer too, right? That's a genius. Yeah. And you can go ahead and get that beautiful mash, smooth, fluffy texture with the potato masher. And you can Only serve it with around. your fish, you can serve it with mm. your meat, with whatever you have. So here oh we gosh. have... That is to die for. Our stuffed cabbage, another great dish from... Austria, you know, Middle Eastern cooking, also Jewish cooking, we make a stuffed cabbage. My favorite. Just depends where you are, what mm -hmm. meat you put in here. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you want the black, let me just check. Uh, black just sold Spoon. out. Okay, we're down to red and blue. So blue will be the next to sell out after the black. Uh, it might be our only presentation today. If you want to lock in, $30 off. I mean, this is a great price for a pressure yeah, cooker. Now look and at not that. just any pressure cooker, but one with Wolfgang's Puck's name on it. I mean, name synonymous with quality. This is this is a world-renowned master chef who stakes his reputation on every single item that he presents here uh, at HSN. You know what? I would and not so I know be that here. Quality if is important to you. I would say, okay, this does not work, or it's just for me to make a little extra money. My main business is <laughs> restaurants. So we have to really make everything right. And I have all the chefs in my restaurant who are mm -hmm. trying and testing all the appliances mm -hmm. we have. So it really has to make uh, and exceed your high expectations yeah. of quality. If you, if you have very discerning taste, if you only want the best of the best, then say yes to a Wolfgang Puck pressure cooker. Uh, this is just gonna really change the yeah. way you cook. Instead of cooking every single night, maybe you only cook twice a week and you make uh, great leftovers that the kids can heat up or your husband or your wife can yeah. heat up. If you're all working different schedules, I know it's very rare the American family gets to sit down and eat at the same time. I just know. say, hey, dinner's in the pressure cooker. I know, and, and everyone it will come stay and go hard. And now here themselves. we have in a Moroccan mm. style dish here, which is lamb. Make? Lamb shanks are very inexpensive in comparison to a rack of lamb, for example. So you use that, you save money, but it's all about the flavor. Mm. Mm, I'm still I eating all this. Cook them with dates, <laughs> with cumin. Oh, look, look at that. At that. So it's so a little good. sweet from mm -hmm. the dates. It has the spice from the cumin mm -hmm. in here. And could you get those results any other way? Well, you can do if, if you cook them for six hours in the oven. And for then you have to hours. spend the time next to it. So And then you have to monitor it. Add liquid, do this, do that with this. You don't have to do that at all. Do we have maybe... So a, instead of spending six hours, you spend maybe six minutes putting yeah. the ingredients together. And look at it, I can take this thing out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so tender, like it literally like falls right oh, off look the Look at that. Amazing. Even the dog will be unhappy <laughs> because there's no meat left on it. And then again, you're getting the largest capacity yeah. uh, you've ever offered. It's already a huge customer pick. Rave reviews and a huge fan favorite. His number one best-selling pressure cooker. Uh, it really gives you everything you need. And best of all, it's the easiest pressure cooker I think I've ever seen. There's one dial that sets the time. Yeah, that's what that's I you, like about it. That's all you do. Yeah. You don't need to worry what and food is it. When it's under pressure, you cannot open it up. So okay. it's safe. Safety so features. I think
In all my opinion, this is the safest way to cook. So. Okay, final call on the red and the blue. We've got more with Wolfgang Puck and Marion right after this. Don't go away.